Microsoft is automatically migrating users from classic Outlook to the new Outlook during the 24H2 update on Windows 11. Many users like me don't want to use the new Outlook. They are fond of the classic Outlook. In this video, you will learn how to block the new Outlook and keep using Outlook Classic on your Windows 11 machine. People using Outlook Classic are accustomed to its interface, and they don't want to jump to the new Outlook. However, when their PC updates to 24H2 from 23H2, they get migrated to the new Outlook automatically. If you don't want this migration, you need to make some changes to your registry. If you have already migrated to the new Outlook, don't worry. You can click on this toggle button to switch back to Outlook Classic. If this toggle button isn't here, you can uninstall the new Outlook from the settings, apps, and then installed apps. Then install the Outlook Classic from the Microsoft Store. There is a link in the description also. After the installation, follow the instructions to block further migration. Let's first make sure that you have the updated version of Outlook Classic. Open it, click on the File menu, then select Office Account. Here, click on the Update Options and select the Update Now option. A small pop-up will appear that will check for the latest version of Outlook Classic. If the update is available, it will get installed and your updated version will appear after a restart. Now we will make changes in the Windows registry to block the new Outlook. Press the Windows plus R button and type REG Edit. Hit the Enter button. Click Yes in the UAC pop-up. Before you make any changes to the registry, it's a good idea to take a backup of the registry. Click on the File menu and select Export. In the Export range, make sure to select All. Then give it a file name, choose a location other than your system drive, such as a USB drive. Click Save. In case of any mishap, you can use this backup to restore the registry. The first thing we will do is remove this toggle button, try the new Outlook. We don't want an accidental click here and then get updated to the new Outlook. So navigate through HKEY Current User, Software, Microsoft, Office, 16.0, Outlook, Options, and then select General Key. On the right side, right click and select New DWORD 32-bit value. Name this key as Hide New Outlook Toggle and hit the Enter button. Double click on it and then set its value to 1, click OK. Now you won't see the Try the New Outlook Toggle. The next key will stop the upgrade to the new Outlook. Navigate to H key Current User, Software, Microsoft, Office, 16.0, Outlook, and then select Preferences. Here, right click and create a new DWORD 32-bit value, name this key use New Outlook. Make sure that you type the same thing as I have typed. Now double click on it. You will see the default value is zero, which means it won't use the New Outlook. However, if you change it to one, it will use the New Outlook interface. So type zero in here and hit enter. The next key that we create in here is going to stop the migration to the new Outlook. When you update your Windows 11 from 23H2 to 24H2, so on the registry editor, navigate to H key current user, software, policies, Microsoft, office. I don't have the office key here, so I will create that. If you don't have any key, you can create that. Right click on Microsoft, choose new key, enter office, then 16.0, which I have to create under the office key then Outlook under the 16.0, and Preferences under the Outlook. Make sure to create these as I have created, concentrating on capital, small letters, and space. While selecting the Preferences, right-click here and create a new DWORD 32-bit value. Name this key as New Outlook Migration User Setting. Double-click on it and put zero in the value data. This will tell Windows not to migrate to the new Outlook while updating from Windows 11 23 H2 to 24 H2. After following these instructions, you can keep using Outlook Classic without worry. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching.